Uh, hey guys, this is Dano, and I just wanted to give a quick discussion on how to add private channels to your Roku. Um, I have the the Roku streaming stick, and hold on a second. I have the Roku streaming stick, and it's pretty simple to use. It it, it just comes with an HDMI um, little stick about the size of a you, uh, jump drive and it, it has a USB um, mini USB plug that plugs into it and if your TV puts out a constant power supply from its USB plug you can plug it into the, it if not you just gotta plug it into a, um, um, you just gotta plug it into a USB that has power but uh, anyways um, I don't have a program that will record my computer desktop or my my monitor as when I get a, sc a screenshot or a screen recorder whatever they want to call them but in, when I get one I will do a better how-to video on um, on how to make the private channel or how to add private channels but um I'll just give you a quick kind of roundabout way of doing it. Uh, you have to to add when you get your channels. You have to sign in to your Roku on your computer, on their homepage. You just sign into your account, and then you click on on I think your name on the top right, and uh, you go down, and then there'll be a spot where it says Add Channel, and then um. You Google uh, free channel or free private Roku channels, and there are several different websites that you can choose from that'll load a big list of um, all types of different channels from Cartoon Network shows all the way to um, HBO to they got old shows. They I think they even have lots of blogs I mean I think I'm pretty sure anybody can put a video on it if they want to um, there's a pretty good one called channel channel pair and uh, what it does is it has lot it's like a live streaming um, like they got show they've got it kind of set up like a cable network how you how you go from different channel to channel to channel and you set up your library uh, they have a Simpsons one I was watching earlier and uh, but now I couldn't fast forward it was almost like Pandora uh, but now I couldn't skip either they just uh, and I'm sure anyone else who was watching it would be watching the same show it would you know it was like like as if they aired it but um they have lots to choose from now you do have to make an account with them but it's free it only takes 10 minutes I'll do a better I'll do a better discussion on that in a second but um I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Roku stick uh, you can get Netflix with it if you you know if you're thinking about getting a a Roku the streaming stick ain't a bad way to go because you can you can have your Netflix if you have a Netflix account. Um, they have several free channels um, inside of the Roku channel list. You don't have to do anything special to load them. But um, all right, guys, I think that's it for this discussion. If anybody has any questions or if anybody wants me to redo this video, just let me know. But uh. Everyone, um, please subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more videos, a lot more discussions. Um, if anyone knows of a good screen recording software that's free, that ain't hard to work with, um, let me know. If anyone uses a good editing software for YouTube, let me know. I'm still kind of new to the YouTube uh, uploading. But, um... Oh, I wanted to show you. Here's the the remote from the Roku streaming stick. Pretty simple. Now, one thing I didn't like was it comes with preset channels. One, I think one's Netflix, 
One's MGO, one's Amazons, and one's Voodoo. The only thing I wish is that I could preset, or that I wish I could set those channels. Because I only use Netflix, I don't have the others. And I wish I could set one to Hulu and then maybe one to Discovery or something. But if that's my only complaint, that ain't very bad. But alright, guys, that's it for this video.